everyone, Salaam Alaikum, welcome back to another video, excuse the way this is, I actually started this vlog a few days ago but I don't have that footage anymore because when I've just turned it on now to show you what I got from town the other day, something was wrong with a memory card, I had to format it so all that footage is gone, <sighs> which is annoying because <laughs> it's taken me a while to pick up this uh, camera and start vlogging again and then I did a day where I was vlogging um and I um have lost it all now so this is the start of the vlog now so salam alaikum hope you guys are well just in a girl's room it's actually getting dark outside now um but I wanted to show you guys what I got from town the other day it would have fit so well with the other part of the vlog but anyway we started from here so yeah I went to town the other day main reason I went was to go to Primark, I need to get Rayhan some bits and I got myself some bits but I thought I'd show you everything that I got. So anyways, first I went to one below, obviously I got myself one of these bag things that you have to pay, the reusable bags because whenever I go shopping I always forget to take a bag so I always end up buying one so I've literally got loads now, I need to like remember to take them. Anyway first, I did pick up some chewits, also these chewits are um, V, uh, suitable for vegetarian and their fruit salad flavor and they're so nice um and then i picked up some oreo wafer rolls uh for fizza because fizza likes oreos but i picked her up these ones so these ones have the chocolate filling um so she's gonna like that as a little snack Inage doesn't like those so i thought i'd pick up Inage some lotus biscoff biscuits because she likes these the most exciting part of the haul and no, i'm joking i picked up some hand wash some hand washes wash um blue one for downstairs and the pink one is for upstairs because i mainly use the upstairs bathroom and Chaka's not too fond of these smells oh, that's so nice and yeah that's nice um this one i know he's not gonna like and i mainly use the upstairs bathroom so i thought this one for the upstairs one then I picked up these uh, soaps. I actually don't know why I picked this up because we hardly use these anymore. I find when I use these sort of soaps, the bars, my skin gets really dry and itchy on my back, like really, really bad. Like I can't, I just want to itch it. It's got all like scars where I've been itching it and scratches and my the back, my back is literally, oh, I suffer so much from my back in terms of like, dry skin and itchiness i don't think it's eczema but it does get really bad and when i use these uh soaps any sort of bar soap the little one this one even the dove ones it affects that so i have to use i use this um body wash that i got from lidl that for sensitive skin that seems to be working so that's the main one i use now but i don't know i just picked up these i don't even use these on the kids they had their own like body wash that they use so i don't know why i got this it smells really nice i don't even use it on my face because i can't use those bars of soap on my face i used to be able to but now every time i use it my skin just it's not good for my skin vaseline because why not you always need vaseline don't you and got some glue for the kids also picked up some coloring paper um, not even colouring paper, some coloured paper for the girls' arts and craft. I need to get coloured card for Fizza because she makes those things now. Are they called origami, origami or something like that? She makes those sort of things. So I do need to pick her up some coloured card. I mean, you little usually have them come in, you know, you get the books, but they don't have them at the moment. Also, I picked up this uh, elbow grease. I've never used it, but everyone raves about it. So I thought, let me try this on the cooker not just the cooker like for the walls my the walls near the cooker are really greasy at the moment and i scrub it and scrub it and clean it and it's still like greasy um so i want to try this so yeah hopefully that works that's what i got from um which we call it one below not poundland because poundland i just dislike poundland so much right now there's oh i'll leave that out because that's open see what i got from um primark so i'll show you the kids stuff first so i've picked up Rayhan a load of sweatshirts if you're looking for sweatshirts for your little kids 
picked them up from Primark because he's still got ones from last year that he wears now and they're still in really amazing quality and um, so he's got like the £3.50 ones and then he's got like the £6 ones the £6 ones are the ones like that have characters on them like Paw Patrol or Marvel heroes and things like that they are still amazing quality and they're from last year and we've washed them so many times from last year until now and still great quality so if you're looking to buy decent quality sweatshirts for your kids then anyway so i picked him up this um mario one i picked him up this one up with a hood i thought i'll get him a couple without the hood and then i'll get him one with a hood and yeah i got this one i thought it was cute the super mario brothers although he's not interested in them this one was seven pounds i picked him up this sweatshirt which is basically just got a dinosaur on it and it says varsity and what does it say at the bottom dino squad new york this one was three pound fifty so you see so cheap guys and these wash really really well like i said i've still got his ones from last year so if you're looking for sweatshirts for your kids girls or boys get them from primark cheap and cheerful and then this is the last one i got him which is a bit of a lighter color i do avoid getting him light colors because obviously he stains his clothes quite a bit when he's eating or he if he gets hold of fell tips all his light joggers have fell tip marks on them so i need to buy him new joggers as well but all of the light ones like he has a yellow one a light gray one they all have like marker pens on them and we've washed them so many times and they don't come out so it's really dangerous getting him light coloured um, stuff. But anyways, I've got him this because I thought it was cute. Um, it just says, it reminds me of like baseball. That is baseball, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's got the baseball bat. So yeah, I thought that's really cute. He's going to look cute in that. And that was um, £3.50 again. Picked up his one dress. So just this one. It's just a jersey stretchy sort of material dress long sleeve um let me show you the print up close and yeah quite long because she needs clothes she's hardly got any alhamdulillah Irij has a lot so she's got the new clothes i get her but then she also gets fizzers hand-me-downs the like cl clothes that are well kept off fizzers which is most of them because fizzer grows really quick so a lot of fizzers clothes never last her more than a year or that season so all her summer clothes wouldn't like probably fit her next year that sort of thing We're, so it goes straight to Idish. so Idish is covered which is this pink one is full to the brim and if this is one here she's hardly got anything so i thought let me get her a dress um and then i also need to get us a bit like some other some more like t-shirts and things like that and then the last two things are for rayhan I found these kind of, I don't know what they're called, oh they're, they're kind of like jeans, no they're not jeans, they're like joggers but different sort of material, like cargo trousers, that's it, but cargo ones have pockets on the side usually don't they, but these don't, but they're that sort of material, like a thin, I don't know how to describe the material and I don't even know if you can tell like this, what kind of material they are, I don't know seven pounds they're a relaxed stretch so they've got a stretchy part here and then you can also tighten it which i liked and then they have like stretchy part at the bottom it's one in a khaki color again seven pounds pockets not that he needs pockets i mean he can put his small little cars in there and stretchy these you can tighten these um yeah i thought those are cute they do look big though so i'm wondering if they'll be too big for him but I actually didn't size up this time. I've got his right size. So let's see for myself. I picked up some leggings. I haven't got navy blue sweatshirts. So I picked up this one. And I got this in the biggest size. Because with my sweatshirts. Yeah I got this in an extra large. I like them to be as baggy and long as possible. Um, so I always get the biggest size possible. I wish they had a 2XL. Because I would have got that as well as well i would have got that instead but they only had this up to xl they might have had two xl but they didn't have any there look how nice that color is that's a really nice color okay i'm sorry if you can hear a sound 
Is it raining? Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, guys. It's raining. You're near the mirror. Mirror. You're near the window, so you can probably hear raining. But, anyways, it's really nice. So, this is the print. Can you see that print? It's so pretty. Just flowers. So, the price of this, or the leggings, you know, are £3. By the way, they have those sweatshirt sort of leggings back in stock you know they stopped it through summer they're back guys but they've put the price up to seven pounds so they used to be five pounds now they've put them up to seven pounds so i didn't pick one up i might pick one up when i need it but i have loads at the moment um but like i like to pick up fresh new ones but i thought what's the point i have loads at the moment there's no point it's the price has gone up seven pounds so let me just if i don't need it no point in buying it but yeah, they are back if you are looking for thicker leggings that you are not, not see-through at all. And also will keep your legs a bit warm during autumn, winter. This was £11. And then I picked myself up another raincoat. I wanted something a little bit more longer, so more knee length. So I got myself a long one. I feel like, I'm going to try it on now, so I like it. I've got a jumper on. The hood goes like that and um, you zip it up um and then you can button it and zip it it's got that part here that you can tighten with me i don't like thick coats i get really hot easily i get really uncomfortable i drive most places so wearing thick coats are just uncomfortable this one's thin which i love and then i can wear like a sweatshirt like a thick jumper underneath if i am a bit more cold so i just had this cardigan on and it felt comfortable they had this in a khaki color and i think they had it in a cream color but i'm not sure if it was exactly the same um if it or if it was a different style but they definitely had this in a khaki color because i was deciding which one i wanted but i went with the black because black just goes with everything but yeah this was 26 pounds and the last thing that i'm going to show you guys which is the best thing my sister-in-law actually got this and sent us a picture the other day so when i went to primark and i saw it and i saw the price i was like okay i need to pick it up for myself and i just go out anywhere without the kids and i just want a little bag to carry my phone and purse got this so this look how nice it is this is what it looks like close up it's really small and petite i love this buckle design when my sister-in-law sent the picture her picture didn't do it justice this was eight pounds by the way so it's just a small little bag it can hold my phone and my purse that's all i needed to do um i can either hold it like that um or you get the strap with it it's a nice size in there does it have a separate zip part no it doesn't so it doesn't have like you know you usually get the little zip inside where you can put stuff it doesn't have that does it no it doesn't have that but it's perfect just put like a what do you call these little camera bags that's the primark haul oh, sorry for not vlogging that much i just wasn't feeling it um yeah i just wasn't feeling like it and i thought if i'm not enjoying it at the moment or not feeling like it there's no point forcing myself um because I started vlogging because it's something that I always wanted to do. And then when, while I've been doing it, I've enjoyed it. I love the editing side. I love the vlogging side. I love it all. And that's the reason why I do it. But I just found it a bit overwhelming. So whenever I find it overwhelming, that's when I don't vlog much or you're not seeing me upload. So I do apologise for that. Um, I don't want to force myself to do it if i'm not enjoying it do you know what i mean and you'll be able to tell because i just will be a moody get yeah. now i feel like i've got the exciting feeling of wanting to vlog again and wanting to edit i miss editing that's the, my favorite part like not even the vlogging side i miss having something to edit so i miss all that so inshallah yeah basically i'm back on it and let's see how we go but yeah i'm gonna go now and inshallah i'll probably catch up with you tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow i feel a bit more confident about my skin and i'll take this beauty filter off but if i don't and this beauty filter is still on there just please know <sighs> just my skin is just terrible at the moment and i just can't help it 
it's so bad it's starting to get better and then i used um the mara soap basically it got bad yeah. Anyways guys, inshallah I'll catch up with you soon.